How's it going everyone? I thought we'd do something a bit different today. I'm on Dreams, which is a PS4 game which lets you make your own game. And I'm testing out some of these skateboarding games. So this first one is a Tony Hawk style game. So when you ollie, it makes the special trick noise. It seems like the only trick you can actually do is an ollie. And rather than collecting the letters skate, you have to just collect the letter E over and over again. So yeah, this one's not the best game, so let's move on to the next one. But yeah, Dreams is a really cool PS4 game. It lit like I say, you can make your own game. So whatever idea you've got in your head, you can come on Dreams and you can implement it. Make your own controls, your own music, your own sound effects. And yeah, you have total freedom on Dreams, so it's pretty cool. And it's good to see some people that have made uh, skateboarding games. So this one I'm playing now is kind of similar to like True Skate or Touch Grind for the phone. And in a way it's kind of similar to Skate as well, because you actually use the uh, joysticks to do all, all of your tricks. And what's pretty cool about this one, you can actually do grinds as well. So I think every trick is possible on this game. You could do um, <clears throat> like a 900 flip or double impossible, dark slide, anything. So this is a pretty good game, it gives you a lot of freedom and it's pretty easy to control. The only downside to this game is that your board has like no weight to it. So every time you do a trick it just kind of bounces when you land. So next we're playing an inline game that I found. And this one is actually surprisingly good. It kind of just flows really nicely. It reminds me a lot of Tony Hawk's. There's a few little bugs in it, like you're supposed to be able to do wall rides, but every time I touch one of the walls, it would just reset my skater. But yeah, it really it just plays really smooth. It locks onto grinds really well. So whoever made this one, good job, dude. Yeah, you can also do this weird crouching animation. I'm not sure what my dude's doing there. Looks like he's trying to lay an egg or something. And yeah, you can do grinds and 360s and 180s and I think that's pretty much all you can do in this game. But I quite like this one actually. And you can even skate up a rail. You can change direction mid-rail. So now we have Small Town Adventures skateboarding game. And our dude has a big <laughs> word saying front on the front of his body and as you can see he's actually barefoot. Now <clears throat> in terms of controls this one was probably the worst that I found because it's so sensitive you just have to touch your stick slightly and your skates will do like a full 180. So yeah this one is kind of crazy and impossible to play but nonetheless it's a skateboarding game so we're testing out. And I'm not sure if it's really an ollie that you're doing. You just kind of... I don't know what happened there. I somehow went inside the wall. But yeah, every time you do an ollie, your feet aren't really on the board. It's more like a no comply. But yeah, if this looks like the kind of game you would enjoy playing, go for it. Sweet board slide there. But yeah, I did save the best one till last, and I didn't play all of them, there are actually loads and loads of uh, skateboarding games made on Dreams. But this next one is probably the most impressive one, because someone has actually gone through the effort of making a whole world for their game. So it's called Pacific Hill Skate and Surf, and when you start the game you spawn in as this random dude in like a suit, or a smart shirt. And here he is. So you're this office worker looking dude with long hair. And I don't think you've actually got any eyes. So you, you either have no eyes at, at all, which is kind of creepy, or your eyes are closed. But yeah, if you go up to your room and grab your skateboard. There you go, so we've changed out of our office clothes now. And you can actually look out the window, which is a pretty nice feature that they've added. And if you walk over to an object in your room, you can interact with it. So let's start off by doing an ollie off the bed. Oh yeah, smooth. The board, <laughs> the board didn't even come with us at all. But yeah, if we head outside, this is where the game gets really weird. And I'll show you what I mean. 
So here's our dude. We've met up now with our friend who just kind of waits outside and follows you around. So as you can see, your main character in the blue shirt, he has a running and walking animation. Whereas our friend here behind us, he does not. And our character when he ollies, as you can see the board is really glitched out. It like goes away from you. And that's the only trick you can do as an ollie. So you can walk and do an ollie. But if we take control of our friend here, he can actually do more tricks, but he can't walk. So for whatever reason, when this guy walks, he just does a T-pose. And the wheels of your skateboard go absolutely insane, because you're also holding a hat. Yeah, if we get on our skateboard, this dude can actually do some other tricks. So his, first of all, his ollie looks a lot better, even though his foot's not actually on the kicktail at all. But unlike our other friend, this guy can actually do power slides, or I guess it could be a board slide if you did it on a rail. We can also push as this guy, and I freaking love that push animation. Your leg just looks like it's snapped in half when you push. So yeah, you so far you can ollie, you can push, you can't walk, but who needs to be able to walk in a skateboarding game, right? And you can also break. And I noticed something weird about the braking mechanic on this game. If you brake and then just don't release the brake, it will actually just keep speeding you up. And eventually you'll reach like backwards man speed on Skate 3. So here I am going across the entire level just by pressing one button, the brake button. And I found this random map like really far out in the distance. So I wanted to see if I can somehow get over to it. And surprisingly, in the skateboarding game, you can actually drive a car as well. So you can take full control of a car. So of course, the first thing I wanted to see is if you can run your skater over. The cars are pretty difficult to drive, not gonna lie. You can tell that <laughs> they didn't put too much work into the uh, controls of a car. But even so, it's good fun to be able to run yourself over. And I like that nobody is driving the car. It must be one of those Teslas. So yeah, I wanted to see if I could push this dude off the edge of the map, because he's standing pretty close to it. Sorry my dude, but off you go. Yeah, I was actually really impressed with this game, because they, like I say, they've made the effort of making a whole map. You've got desert, and you've even got water, because it's called Surf and Skate. So you can actually ride your car on the water, and you can skate in the sea as well. So yeah, I was trying to make the car fast enough to get to the island, but there was just no chance of it happening. Unfortunately. But yeah, after playing this game for another five minutes or so, I encountered a way to actually fly. And what you have to do is stand up, and then even though you're standing up, you can still press the brake button, and if you push the accelerate button at the same time, and then spin around in circles, you can actually levitate. So I thought I would try and get over to the island to see what's over there. Um, it's quite a fair distance away, especially as you have to keep turning around. But as I got super close, you can actually see what's over there. It's like a, a lake, or... Maybe it's like blue storm at all, I'm not really sure. But unfortunately, as I got right up to it, you just kind of start to drop. So there must be an invisible wall blocking you actually getting on there. And I thought the only thing left to do in this game, which I've not really experimented with yet, is to see if you can go surfing, like the title says. And would it be a surfboard, or would you just skate in the water? So here we are at some random pier. Let's see if you can actually go surfing. God, these graphics just make me laugh. So it turns out you can kind of surf on a skateboard. And you can also push in the water. <laughs> and yeah, because we kind of failed at getting to the secret island, which is way out in the distance, I thought maybe we can get to one of these islands in the distance of the sea instead. So after pushing in the sea for about five minutes, 
we come up on one of these scenery, like background islands, and to my surprise it is actually solid and you can stand on it. So we have literally come all the way across the sea to this little island and I'll spin the camera around so you can see how far we've travelled. That's our house over there, way in the distance. But yeah, I was really impressed with this game. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more skateboarding games which have been made on Dreams, just let me know in the comments and I'll make another episode of this. This has been Blink and I'll see you guys all in the next video.